What's up guys? Today we are doing a King Ranch video, finally. Basically just doing a lot of maintenance here. Doing some ignition coils, spark plugs. I'm not even sure what the sensor is, to be honest. Some sort of sensor. Like this is a camshaft solenoid, I'm pretty sure. And maybe like a position sensor. Not even 100% sure, but gotta do it on this guy. This one, on the other hand, getting a new box. All this metal is getting done. I'm gonna go ahead here start with taking out the ignition coils here and then get the spark plug swap those over and then i'll do the other four after that you know it's about time for that intro i need a beach house out on the island i need a bankroll for my deposit i need a closet they type you walk in so we have gotten all of our ignition coils out here um we have all the new ones right here Here's what we're dealing with. Looking pretty good. So it turns out spark plugs were actually just changed last year. So I'm gonna go ahead and return these. Um, I think these were changed like literally, or these were changed literally like, I wanna say 10,000 kilometers ago. So we got about 10K on them. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just change the ignition coils then, and then I'm gonna do my position sensor, my camshaft position sensor, and I think I'll leave this for another day. Or maybe not, we'll see where we get to. But I do want to be able to use my truck. So I'm not sure how far I want to disassemble it and work, but this is currently where we're at. Let me go ahead now. Um, I took some air, I cleaned out all the spark plug holes here, the drop downs, and then I'm going to put our ignition coils back in. So one thing I've got to add that I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding some of this electrical grease here. Um, I'm going to put this on the inside of the boot here, just at the bottom. I'm going to put it inside just like this so that way it connects there. Um, helps with conductivity I'm pretty sure and um, keeping it clean, keeping a good connection. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get all that done now. Okay, after a little bit of work here we have switched all of them over. So they're all in there now. Kind of hard to see, but got these guys here. This new black piece and all, and all this. So I'm gonna go ahead now and work on the crankshaft position sensor. It is just right here. I'm gonna go ahead, take out the plug. I think it's just one screw. This is what it's looking like. Yeah, just one screw. And then uh, I think it pulls out and I just plug a new one in and we're all good. We'll see if that fixes it position sensors are out. Um, these two guys right here. We have a new one right here. And a new one right down here. So now that that's done, um, I kind of want to see how it runs first. I don't know if I want to dive into getting these put on. But we'll start it up first, see what we get for codes, see if we see anything still and then kind of go from there. Okay, so I just started up. Um, sounded pretty good, it was running good. I haven't like tested it yet, I haven't drove it yet, but just so you guys can kind of see what I'm dealing with here, this is the code readings that I got here. You can focus, we got cam, cam shot position, um, and we got a bunch of misfires, and then we got cylinder three, cylinder four. And so basically, um, there's a bunch of codes that were going off for phaser type of symptoms, but we're kind of just hoping we're gonna fix everything else first before we do that. Cause I mean, ignition coils are easy and they're like 15 bucks a pop, maybe 10 bucks. They're probably not even, I don't even know how much I paid. Yeah, probably 15 bucks a pop. And then the position sensor was easy enough and this is gonna be easy. I gotta do an oil change when I do this, but I forgot to grab oil, so. When I do this one, I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna do oil change as well, and then that'll kind of be for sure. I'll probably save that for tomorrow. I'll probably change them anyway. I already have the parts and you know prevent the maintenance. But this is kind of where we're at for right now. I'll uh, see you guys when we come back and when we get these ready to go. So I ended up figuring out what was wrong with the misfiring. Sorry, it's, it's been a little while, so I can't exactly remember where I left this off, but I'm pretty sure <clears throat> we ended up putting new ones of these in. These are VVTI um, solenoids. 
And essentially what was wrong was what I was told by Fred is that the film on these gets damaged or worn through or something like that happens and they ended up jamming. And so when my car would try to, yeah, as you can see, it's kind of damaged up here. But essentially when the truck would start pushing oil through there, it would clog up and jam up. So I would get that like do 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 when I would like, when it would drop around the RPMs, like it would, like whenever you're accelerating, you're driving around 70, 80 in these trucks, your RPMs will drop down back to about 1,000, 1,100, 1,200-ish from like 2,500 to 2,000. So it'll drop quite a bit and they'll force oil through here and then these will end up like doing their thing, essentially. But oil is getting clogged in here and jammed up just because who knows why. There's just something wrong with these. But yeah, I ended up changing these. They all worked out good. Um, truck ran, it's been about, I wanna say eight, nine months since then. Um, it's completely fine now, but I am doing an oil change right now on it. So I figured I'd show you guys that. Show you guys where I replaced these. Um, it was honestly a super easy replacement. Like obviously there's just this one screw here. They're covered up by these. You pop these off, you get access to this screw here. You unscrew it and you just pull them up, pull them in. You have to do an oil change when you do these, but yeah, I'm gonna go do an oil change right now. We'll get a short little video. Um, add a little bit more to this. I changed all my ignition coils. Um, I didn't do my spark plugs. Spark plugs are done. And yeah, but I'm gonna keep going with this. Keep going with this video. Um, it was a little short. I realized as I was editing it, I was like at like five minutes or something, but yeah. So I'm gonna keep going. We'll do a quick oil change and then it'll essentially be the end of this video. So it is summer now. Um, and I am going to be putting in 5W50. This is what was rec recommended to me by Fred, so I'm going to stick with it. Um, yeah, it's going to take about 7 liters, or 7 quarts I guess, um, relatively the same. And then obviously we just got our uh, oil filter there. But yeah, I'm going to pop the hood. Um, I'll show you guys where I replaced those other parts from earlier. And then, yeah, we'll get it uh, done. Okay, so during the oil, I put our new filter on. As you can see, there's one down there, but the new one is up in here, just back there. Um, all the oil is drained, old filter out, new filter in, and now I've got our little thing here I'll fill up, and then I'll also show you guys where exactly we replaced all these parts. Okay, so I just put in seven quarts, um, but this is the part I'm talking about here. So this piece right here, you pop this off. Um, it's just behind uh, where you fill up your oil. Pop this off, and then this is that tab that I showed earlier. It flips up, and then this whole piece just pulls out. After you unscrew, and there's one screw in there. And then the same thing on the other side, you gotta take this intake off. But then it's just behind here. Just right in behind here. I think you could just take this off, actually. I think I took everything off, but you can just take this off you can get to it I'm pretty sure but yeah those are the two parts I replaced um, those are the main ones obviously I also did there's like other sensors too for it that I replaced I did everything just to make sure to rule out it wasn't the phasers which is like a big concern on these and it wasn't which was nice so I got it all running good um, this oil change I'm gonna run the truck again and then we'll check the dipstick just to see where we're at but I think we look pretty good. Pretty happy, it's pretty dirty right now. I'll have to do a good cleanup of this, but it looks like we might have an oil leak, but I think that's for another video. But I'll just show you guys what I mean here. Cause like this is soaked. And then it's like soaked over there too, but it just rained, but it looks too obvious for it to be rain. So I'm not exactly 100% sure what it is yet, but yeah, this is uh where we're at. I'm gonna run the truck, clear some codes, and then we'll see how she runs. Okay, so we ran it for about 30 seconds, and then we'll check the dipstick, but it's running nice and smooth, so I think we're all okay. But yeah, I'm gonna let it run, check the dipstick, and see how it looks. One kind of uh, funny thing is, the street isn't flat, so <laughs> I had to park like half up on this, just to get it even, but it looks pretty even. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna check the dipstick now, kind of let it settle for a little bit here but I'll set you guys up 
and we'll see how it looks. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I don't think I'll need to add any more. But yeah, I'm gonna give it a quick check. Not sure if you guys can see that, but we're right underneath the top line, the top circle. It's hard for me to show it without getting the right angle here. You might be able to see it, but anyway, there's a line right, right below the top circle, which means we are bang on. So, I mean, just added the proper specification for what it called for, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, I'm gonna clear some codes, um, drive it around and I will let you guys know. Okay, so I've got my scanner out now. I'm gonna clear some codes, just because I had low oil in here, and that kind of messes with the phaser a bit, um, when it's not fully soaked in oil. And so, I kind of already knew that. It's not really a surprise. I've been kind of, uh, I've been topping up recently, but this time I hadn't driven it in a while and it was pretty low. And it gave me a check engine light, so, it's not the end of the world, just like something I should handle. So I am planning right now on clearing that code. And then I'm gonna go wash the car, wash underneath and see if I can't uh, can't figure out what's going on underneath because it's a little too dirty to see. So I'm gonna run out, wash the truck, need it anyway. And then uh, we'll come back, take a look under and see if we can find this oil leak. For right now, we're just gonna clear the code. We'll go drive around a bit too, see if check engine light comes back on in the next couple days. And then uh, yeah, we'll find this leak. Okay, amazingly enough, um, I think we're all good. So I've been driving, cleared the code, and uh, one of the big issues was I was turning my AC on, and then at stops, it would shake like nobody's business. Um, and that's just because it requires more torque. It just pulls more out of your engine when you turn the AC on, and so it required more oil to get going, but then my oil was low, and then the phasers need full oil for them to work properly. So I'm pretty sure that's where the issue was. I don't think I had noticed it before because I was, it was in the winter, I parked this thing for a while and I think it leaked out over that time. And so now it makes sense. Cause for the past, like, it was probably like a weekish, seven, 10 days I noticed it and it was weird and it would work sometimes, wouldn't work other times, but pretty sure I've got it good now. Um, see so we're at the stop completely dead silent. AC on, nothing. No movement. Before I'd literally just be like, whoa, 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 like shaking like crazy, but now it's nothing. No check engine light, so I think we're good. But yeah, to give you guys a view of the car, I'll wash and we get back to the house. Sheesh, looking good. It's a little too wet underneath to actually tell anything from anything, but uh, yeah, car is running good, looks good now. So, pretty happy with how it all turned out. Um, this is final look. It's a mean looking truck, but yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll be on with more truck stuff. This time I know that I'm coming close. I feel like I'm chosen.